Today, both President-elect Joe Biden and President Trump are marking Veterans Day as the White House transition moves forward. President Trump is still not accepting the results of last week's election, and as Skylar Henry reports, a new recount effort was just announced. President Trump commemorated Veterans Day, laying a wreath at the tomb of the unknown soldier. While President-elect Joe Biden took time out from working on the transition to attend a ceremony in Philadelphia. In their memory and all those others who did not come home. President Trump is still not recognizing Mr. Biden as the president-elect. The Trump campaign has filed a new lawsuit in Michigan with 234 pages of affidavits claiming voting irregularities. And Georgia's Secretary of State announced a full hand recount of every vote to ensure the validity of the results. This will help build confidence. It will be an audit, a recount, and a recanvas all at once. President Trump's refusal to accept the outcome of the election means President elect Joe Biden is not receiving daily intelligence briefings incoming presidents typically receive. Access to classified information is, uh, is useful. Uh, but I'm not in a position to make any decisions on those issues anyway. There's one, as I said, one president at a time. Mr. Biden received calls from world leaders Tuesday, including British Prime Minister Boris Johnson, German Chancellor Angela Merkel, and French President Emmanuel Macron. I'm ready to congratulate you. However, CBS News has confirmed the State Department is not assisting with those calls. And Secretary of State Mike Pompeo suggested Tuesday there may not be a Biden administration. There will be a smooth transition to a second Trump administration. President-elect Biden said Republicans will eventually accept his presidency. Skyler Henry, CBS News, the White House. President Trump picked up more electoral college votes today when CBS News called Alaska for the president. CBS News has also determined that Alaska Republican Dan Sullivan has won re-election to the Senate.